The Work of Being in Wonder. When I think of that phrase, I'm reminded of Mary, the mother of Jesus. You read in Luke how often she would treasure, she would cherish certain things that happened. And in fact, in Luke 2.19, it says that she kept all these things and she pondered them in her heart. Now, Luke, who interviewed Mary, I'm sure he was thrilled that she pondered upon these certain things that occurred. And that was beneficial to him as he was able to tell the story of Christ's birth. He interviewed Mary. It was Mary who vividly told Luke about all the miraculous events that took place, and she could do it in order. You know, when you think of what the word kept means in the original Greek, it means to lay in order. And so here she carefully and meticulously could chronalize this story this experience that occurred in her life because not only had she pondered it, but she treasured it in her heart. The work of being in wonder. I'm sure she went over it time and time again in her thoughts, just reflecting on these sequences of events that occurred miraculously in the awe of it all. And so she was so impacted by the sequence of events. Not only did she chronologi chronologically uh, kept them in her heart, but she preserved them in her memories as well. You know, I'm amazed because she didn't have a journal. She didn't write them down. She didn't have an iPhone that she could dictate uh, and keep record of it that way. She just reflected and remembered all these different moments and events that occurred. And so she was able to tell the gospel writers, Matthew and Luke, the entire account of what occurred in such vivid detail. And as I think about this, I want to ask, have you preserved your memories of what God has done in your life so vividly that you could share it with someone else. I remember visiting my mom and we were celebrating her birthday and we were just sitting there in the afternoon and I started asking her different questions, how she met my dad and how did, you know, what was it like those first couple years they were married? And I enjoyed the fact that she could go through these stories that were very vivid to her. And, and, and very much from her heart. And are we prepared, as we reflect upon 2024, for example, are we prepared to share what God has done in our lives with someone else? Our very testimony can bring and build their faith, bring encouragement and hope. So in our life, it is never too late to pause and take stock of, of things and, and ponder them deeply, preserving the memory like Mary did. You know, as we've already seen in the original uh, text of Luke 2.19, it said that Mary intentionally kept a precise and correct record of all that it was in her heart. And she was able to communicate every piece of this story. So with you and I, we are a part of a story. We have a story to share. And we need to be in the work of, of the wonder of life. Because people are intrigued, not when we're complaining or, or discouraged, but they're intrigued when we have had that first intimate encounter with God and we're able to share about his faithfulness firsthand with a wonderment of, of just the miraculous work that has been uh, revealed and, and brought about because we had a thankful heart. We had an expectant heart. Mary, I mean, she had an angel come to her with 
a promise that, that seemed impossible. But she believed and said, let it be unto me as, as you have spoken. You and I, as we are in the wonder of a God so great, so magnificent, and as he declares the promises in his word, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, those promises become our promise. We need to be just like Mary, able to believe, able to move on with what God has declared over us and be expectant, knowing that with God, all things are possible to those who believe. So we should never forget all the marvelous things that we have witnessed, um, what God has done in our life. We need to keep a, keep a clear memory. Maybe we need to write it down in our journals. We need to be uh, thankful as we reflect upon all that God has done. Not only will it help us as we anticipate 2025, but it will bring encouragement as we share what God has done. I remember one day I was sitting over lunch and just reflecting about what happened just the few weeks before as I was having these encounters of prayer and, and opportunities to minister uh, to various individuals that came my way. And they were miraculous wonders of what God had done. And that stirred up the faith of those that were sitting around the table with me and one by one asked, would you pray with me? And, and uh, in that prayer, in that time, their hearts were alive with faith. And God had promises that he would reveal uh, a word would come, a, a prophetic word or a scripture. Because when we're in that place, in the work of being in the wonder, as we, like Mary, as we reflect by pondering uh, what God has done, it will be a testimony. Our story will bring encouragement to another. So I want to just encourage you this Christmas season, and we still have a few more days and, uh, and weeks left, to take time to reach out to someone in need. Maybe someone who's feeling lonely. There's always someone who needs to experience the love of God. And you could be that person to reach out to them at this time with a message of hope that they too can experience the work, the wonder of a God who is faithful, who is ever present, ever available, who is wanting to reveal that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So this season, be that person, that messenger of good news to them. Have a good night, everyone. And let me declare this blessing upon you tonight. Heavenly Father, as we reflect upon the magnificence of your promises, the faithfulness of you, our heavenly God, who is ever watching over his word to perform it and in ensuring that it will not return void. Lord God, may we be your vessel. May we be your light to the world around us. May we bring that message of hope, just as the angels did during the time, sharing that good news to Mary, to the shepherds, Father, to Joseph, Lord, may we bring a message of hope and encouragement and wonder to the world around us so that they too will experience the miracle working power of a God who has declared with him all things are possible. Lord God, I release these blessings in the lives of my friends tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night, everyone.